the most expensive colored pencils on the market. Are they worth the hype? Today I'm going to be unboxing my brand new Caran d'Ache Luminance set of 76 colored pencils, testing them out and seeing for myself if all the great reviews are telling the truth. So, has anyone else had the same colored pencils for over 20 years? I'm finally replacing my good old Prismacolor pencils. Since most of my YouTube channel videos are about watercolor, many of you don't know this about me, but colored pencil is actually my first love. I saved up all my money in high school to buy a big set of Prismacolor colored pencils, churned out dozens of drawings of family members and friends, and of course my favorite thing to draw, horses. Before purchasing a new set, I did do some research. I knew I wanted colored pencils that were high quality, vibrant, blended well, and most important, were light fast. Light fastness, by the way, is how well an art medium retains its color and vibrancy over time when exposed to light. Light Fast 1 is considered the most light fast. Anything labeled Light Fast 3, 4, or 5 is much more susceptible to fading over time. Now, since I do a lot of artwork that might be sold or given as a gift, it needs to be able to stand the test of time once it's framed on the wall. While I loved my Prismacolor pencils because of their amazing range of colors, ability to blend, and affordability, they were definitely not very light fast, and I also found that they break really easily, especially while sharpening. So after reading lots of reviews and watching plenty of YouTube videos, I went all in and purchased the most expensive colored pencils on the market, the Caran d'Ache Luminance colored pencils in the largest set of 76 colors. Now, I cheated a little bit before filming. I got so excited when these arrived in the mail that I've already removed the plastic film that the box came in. The cost was $233.69 USD, which is definitely more than I've ever paid for any colored pencils ever. I did shop around a little bit just to see if I could get the best price, but they were the same price at Blick and they were even more at Jackson's, so I think I got about the best price that I could get currently. I also went ahead and purchased an 11 by 14 inch pad of this Strathmore Vellum pack of 15 sheets. I've actually heard that vellum is a dream to draw on and I've never used it. So after I show you guys these pencils, I'm definitely gonna have to take these all for a test drive. All right, so let's get to the unboxing. I am so excited to check these out. As I said, I already removed the plastic film that was wrapped around this box, but you can just see if I turn it sideways, how sturdy that box is. Look how thick it is. It's made out of a really strong cardboard. There's actually a little badge right here that talks about the light fastness of these pencils, and it says the highest light fastness, LF1 and LF2, which is definitely the best out there. So let's check these out. <gasps> Ooh! Doesn't it just scream quality? I'm so impressed already. So something that tells me that this is a quality set is how it's packaged. Whenever you have this foam wrapping the product, you know that a lot of care and effort was put into the packaging. This beautiful sturdy foam was cut out in just such a way that the pencils fit perfectly snugly in their little spaces there. That is so beautiful. So there's this little vellum paper in here. And then there's also this little pamphlet in here that talks about the light fast rating, characteristics of the pencils. There's actually a range of 100 pencils. So if I wanted to buy all the colors, I could get up to 100. Intense and bright colors, high pigment concentration, smoothness and superior covering power. I know that these are wax-based pencils, which also means that that's gonna create a really smooth blending characteristic. It also says that they're made out of, gotta find the English here. Where is the English one? So many languages. Oh, here we go. <laughs> So it says that there are 80 colors out of the 100 colors included with Caran d'Ache's whole series that are light fast one. That's the best that there is. That's awesome. It also says they're cut from California cedar and boy, you can just see the beauty of that wood on each of these pencils made out of cedar trees. And something else that impresses me is that it says that one of the missions of Caran d'Ache is to use recyclable materials whenever possible and to have a minimum impact on the environment. So really environmentally friendly. And I think that's just awesome. Such a big plus. Wow, so let's check these out. My first impression, of course, is 
wow, they're just beautiful. If I pull one of these out, you can just see how sturdy and how thick that pencil is. I'm gonna actually compare it to one of my Prismacolor pencils here. And you can see that the Prismacolor pencil is much skinnier, in fact, than the Luminance pencil. And what that tells me is that this is gonna be much more protected when we're sharpening it. It will probably break a lot less. I'm also really impressed that each pencil is engraved with the color and the color number. So this one is Prime Rose number 242. Look at that. And they're arranged in the order of the rainbow. We've got these gorgeous blues, some beautiful reds all the way to yellow. And then of course a couple of whites. Well, this one is pure white and this one's just a little bit off white. What a great selection already. Now check it out. We've got these little tabs right here. So I'm gonna pull this tray right out. Oh, and here's the next layer. Look at these gorgeous browns and earthy tones and greens. I tell you what, I'm gonna be using these for horses for sure. Let's check out the next layer. We'll set that over here. Oh, wow. Look at all of these grays and neutrals and pastels. These are just beautiful. I'm so impressed by these pencils. I cannot wait to try them. And here are those two blenders. They're not sharpened yet. And I'm actually not sure what those are made of, but I'm excited to try those too. It just has an engraving here that says Full Blender Brights was made by Karin Dosh. Wow, so two of those. Another really cool thing I happen to know about these pencils is that each individual color is sold separately. So if you run out of all your black, for example, I use up my black. Let me see if I can show you. <laughs> this is my Prismacolor black. This is what happens when you use one color a lot. It's so real. <laughs> so when you run out of a color, you can just purchase that individual color separately. And I think individually the pencils are about $4 each. So it's not an affordable set necessarily, but think of it as an investment. That's definitely how I'm trying to think of it to justify spending that much money on this. But I'm excited to get started with these and I can't wait to show you guys what I create and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, guys, so here is my finished drawing. I returned to my roots and just did a horse again because it's my favorite thing to draw ever. And just some final thoughts about these pencils. Are they worth it? I think that's gonna be a resounding yes. These pencils are absolutely amazing. They are so much better than my Prismacolor pencils. Definitely next level. And for those of you who might be thinking, oh, I don't know if I wanna pay that much for colored pencils, keep in mind that the cost is about the same price as you would pay for highlights and a haircut. So these will last a whole lot longer than your haircut, I guarantee. And they're just gonna bring you so much joy. So definitely worth the investment. I can't wait to make some more art with these. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit like if you enjoyed this video.